Hey, it's Beep from Growing Vegetables with Beep. Uh, I've got these these core pellets, they call them. Oh, I don't know. Let's see. And I'm going to sow my squash in them. See how I go. I've never used them. I usually always uh, sow straight into compost. So I'll see how this goes. So I'm going to put them in. And there's some water. So I've got three in here. I'm going to sow 22 of these uh, of different squashes, and so I've got 22 of these pellets. And they take about five minutes. You've got to soak them in some water, and they take about five minutes to expand. Okay. Here are two that I've done just now. You can see how they've expanded to about four centimeter or forty mil, as they call them. These this size is forty one mil, so they're a bit bigger. I've got a few smaller ones, and I'll sew something different in those. You can see they've all swelled up nicely. It's a bright sun sunshine here today, and uh, I'm now going to put them in the tray. You've got to ensure you've got them the right way up. There's a little hole on the top that you that needs to be at the top for the seed to go in. Very sunny there. Can I, can it ever be too sunny? So you can see the difference. The bottom is got netting over it and the other one has a small hole. So I've got 10 seeds left from last year, which are Crown Prince, which were our favourite squash. It's delicious. It's kept until literally this week. So that's a long time. So just easily push the, because of these core pellets soaked, they're nice and wet and it's just press the seed in so I've got 10 of these and now I've got to choose another one so I've got 10 seeds left from last year which are crown prints which were our favorite squash it's delicious it's kept until literally this week so that's a long time so just easily push the because of these core pellets so they're nice and wet and it's just press the seed in so i've got 10 of these and now i've got to choose another one so the other ones the other ones i'm going to show is a blue hungarian winter squash from real seeds so i'm going to decided to do six in of these these different varieties to come along and push them in a bit more very big seed six of these and then a blue banana squash that we've seen at a local CSA uh, project they look delicious they look literally like a big banana but it was blue and these are both uh, from real seeds so it will be interesting how these go right so like i said like i said i've never done them in these little core pellets but i thought i'd try these some of the seeds very big I'm going to cover them with just a little bit of compost so I can't, I don't want the seed to dry out. I've got to cover them really. The um, Hungarian, Hungarian winter squash is very, very big. So I have to cover these just over, like I said. So there, I've done it. The only thing I now have to do is label them. So now I'm soaking the 33 mil uh, cold pellets ones. 
and I'm going to sow some cauliflowers in them, just one seed per pellet. These also take about five minutes and they also expand to 40 mil or 4 centimeters. I've put them all in the tray. I've sown a green cauliflower in each of these pellets, one to two seeds in each one. I'll see how well they do. I'm going to keep these in my conservatory because I imagine that they can dry out quickly so I'll be able to water them on a daily thing because then they're in my view, I see them every day and we'll see how we get on. This is two days later and these are the core pellets and you can see them, the squash is starting to sprout already. I have got in the incubator, uh, my propagator incubator. And this is the um, cauliflowers that I sowed. And they're all coming up nicely. Look at that. I'm very pleased with that. These are the asparagus. Uh, but I've bought a propagator thermometer. Yeah, let's see what the focus is. It's 30, oh, I don't know, 34 degrees. On there. 